Hey, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at using the native Android and iOS device camera using native script. Uh, so this is going to open up our camera, allow us to take pictures and use those pictures within our application using the native script uh, programming framework by Telerik. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our terminal and we want to create a new project. We're going to go ahead and do this on our desktop. So we're going to say TNS create example project. Perfect. Navigate in there. And uh, this is going to be an important note here. Uh, so we're going to add two platforms. We're going to add iOS and Android. Uh, but it's important to note that if you're not using a Mac, you cannot add and build for the iOS platform. If you're using Windows or Linux, you're restricted to only Android. Uh, so it's important that you take that into consideration. So let's go ahead and add those two platforms. Perfect. Our project is now ready to be uh, opened. So open it from your desktop. Go to app. And let's go ahead and open the whole app folder uh, within our uh, whatever ID that you want to use. I'm going to use Atom uh, by GitHub. Uh, but you're free to use whatever you want. Before we start adding any logic code and actually using the camera, let's first design our UI. We're going to we're going to make a few changes. Uh, so first off, what we want to do is let's go ahead and, and change this label. Let's say uh, something like I don't know, take a picture. And then instead of this label at the bottom, we're going to just remove it. We can leave that button, uh, but instead of tap, let's say take. And we're going to call a function that we have not yet created. Uh, but we will in the next step. So let's let's say that we're going to say uh, take picture. That's going to be the name of our function. So we have a button, we have a label. Let's go ahead above the button. Let's add an image for where our image should display after we've captured it. My image. And I'm going to save it. So our UI is now done. Uh, it's very simple. We just have a label, an image, and a button. Now what we can do is we can go to main page and make some changes here. So we are not going to be using this uh, view module here. We're going to remove it. We're also going to remove this. Let's just replace it with some empty brackets here. Uh, so we've, we've really bare bones our code now. But that's all right. So first off, we want to add a new module. We're going to say var camera module equals require camera. And this will allow us to make use of the device camera. We're going to create a new function. We're going to say exports dot take picture, I believe is what we called it, equals function. And there we go. But before we start building this function, we kind of want to work with this page loaded. Uh, we, we want to load an image, like a placeholder image, uh, when the application loads. We don't want to just show blank. So let's make a global image variable. This image variable will be accessed from all functions within this JavaScript file. Right below page, let's say my image equals page dot get view by ID my image. And because uh, that's what we call the inside of our XML, my image. So that's just the ID. Below that, let's say my image equals, uh, not my image equals, my image source equals, and let's use a placeholder image. I like to use this fancy placeholder site that just gives us a blank graphic. Um, it's, it's incredibly useful for uh, just testing your application. So it's going to be HTTPS placehold.it slash 150 by 150 where this uh, dimension is actually the dimension of the image. So you're free to use whatever you want. I'm going to use that, that dimensions. Uh, so now we can actually start coding this take picture function. So 
There's not much to it. We're going to say camera module dot take picture. And then we're going to say then. And we're going to have a callback here. The callback is going to be on a success event. Um, on the success event, uh, it's going to return that picture object back to us. So we can say my image dot image source equals picture. So if all went well, uh, this should work fine within our application. So I'm going to open up my terminal now and I am going to uh, build it and run it for iOS. All right, so it loaded up our app. Uh, on the screen we have our label, we have this placeholder image, and we have a take button. And with a little bit of luck, uh, everything should work out fine, uh, provided I have no typos or flaws in my code. So I'm going to click this take button. Uh, we're gonna allow photos. Um, and it's important to note, because we're using a simulator here, uh, the iOS simulator cannot use our laptop camera. So instead it's going to ask, uh, ask us to pick a photo from our photo album. So I'm going to click it, and it's sort of simulated uh, how it would be if we took an actual picture. If we took an actual picture, it would display here in this box rather than this uh, beautiful waterfall graphic. Uh, but since we're using a simulator, um, it will just show that picture that we chose. And the same would apply for the Android simulator as well. Uh, so you saw how easy it was to make use of this camera module. Uh, we basically used three lines here and we're, we were able to uh, take a picture. And with this picture, we can, we can do a lot more. I mean, if you used your imagination, you could do some manipulations on it. You could upload it to a database. Uh, you could do whatever you want with it. Uh, but I'll leave that one up to you.